What's going on today, guys? I got a real treat of a video for you. If you like traditional knives, um, this is a lot more than just a traditional knife review. We are looking at the Swayback Jack re-release from Jack Wolf Knives. This is their laid back jack. And uh, I missed out on the first run of these, so I'm so glad to see them again. Uh, they upgraded with S90V. Again, I use upgrade and a loose term because pluses and minuses of steels. But I think I like the S90V a little more in these Jack Wolves. Uh, you can see this has like a hand rubbed finish. I don't know if it's hand rubbed or if they have some incredible machining capabilities. Either way, it's a uh, horizontal satin. Um, let's show it up against some of the other Jack Wolf knife releases and then we will get into the treat of the video because I've brought a bunch of my worn clef and sheep's foot style traditional knives. The knives with straight cutting edge here. So here it is up against some of their other straight edge releases up against the feel good and up against the venom. Love it. I love a straight edge. They're just so much utility. So if you're seeing this, you probably want to see the size comparison versus the original case commercial release of the Swayback. So this is a Tony Bowes design. I believe this was like the first commercial release. So there it is for size comparisons. And if you're a GEC nut, like most of us here, you'll know about the Viper. This is the Tidy Ute number 47. So you can see it's a Goldilocks size. It's right in between their Venom and the original release. And I think uh, Tony Bowes made their patterns a lot larger and this is just what they decided to produce for case. But it's a really nice size. I really like it. Not that I ever felt like this was too small or this was too large, but it's always nice to have options. And I think that this is a great little utility size. If you're looking for like a blade, I don't know, we're in the South. We kind of measure our blades by our hands. So how about a large glove? So anyways, here's a few others, just straight edge that you might want to see this next to. This is a GEC Talon, I believe. You can see it's about the same size as that. And I always thought that Talon was almost perfectly sized. That is a 92. They did these with a couple different spear point blades and whatnot. This one just so happened to have a worn cleft blade on it. And the one that's just fun to show off is the Fremont Jack in Elephant Ivory Preban. You can see I've been using it. See some scratches there. I've polished the blade. I can polish it again. I'm not afraid to use it. So there you go. Next to the Fremont. A little smaller than the Fremont. And if you're wondering, next to a 15. Again, this is a sheep's foot. Most of you may know sheep's foot just has more of a pronounced up here. And then a true worn clef is a little more swooped like this and pointy. So there you go up against the Delica just because we have it here. And then we're going to get into the specifics. We are going to look at this knife up close and personal and tell you about the options. So there's a Delica. I want to make a video on this. This has a Lynch um, mod kit on there, titanium. So I've actually been carrying these together. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense because it's not like this is the hard use knife. This is the fine tasks knife. Um, but titanium, cool steel, and then titanium and cool steel. So I don't know. I just felt like they went together. I don't really put too much thought in my pairings too much these days. This is just another 15, an awesome 15, but either way, 
So there you go, up against some of the other models and makes, you know, just to show you some eye candy. And uh, this particular one is all titanium slabbed. And really they all are, all the Jack Wolf knives so far. It's one slab, they mill away a pocket to put the covers in and then they contour them. This one, they just did not mill that area away. And then there's an option where it's smooth titanium all the way through. There's an option where this is milled away and it's wood here. And uh, there's just a bunch of cool options. There's a purple, like acrylic with black DLC. That's a really cool look. Honestly though, I think this one was the best looking one out of the bunch, but you know, I like titanium. And also, if you know me, you know, I like to mess around with knife mods. And here's kind of, again, just more eye candy. This is not, this is more than just a review. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I just haven't made a video in a while. And I want to show you a few things. So I don't know if I ever showed this. I've had this in the works for a long time. I just never finished it because that's just how my life is. It's just so busy. So what is this? This is a um, zero tolerance something or another. I can't remember if you remember this. I put the finger choil in here and then took the titanium and then I will finish this as well. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do like um, Todd Bag's icing on that front. So this little bit here will all go away and then you'll be left with this groove finish. Why I'm showing you this is to show you that even on my own mods, I love this bolstered look on the titanium and then the back half is still titanium, much like this particular model. Well, we have it here though. I wanna show you how cool this clip is gonna come out. Groove that real deep. And then that clip's gonna go there. This is a Hinder XM18 clip. Oh man, that's gonna be a fun knife. And then I'll anodize it and all that. I like how that clip goes right in with that. Anyways, I am beyond <laughs> a review for the Jack Wolf. Swayback Jack. Laidback Jack beautifully finished i don't know what more to say about jack wolf knives except they just do not miss look at that blade centering the contouring on this the jigging on that titanium again all your exposed hardware is titanium as well there is so much modding potential into the jack wolf knives i see it i mean i don't know if the average person would but um you could anodize the frames and all that. If I had enough time, I could even make different inserts and all that. What a cool profile though. Tony Bowes was just spot on the money when he created this pattern. Like that swoop, look at the swedge here. Starts there, rolls down. S 90 V deep recess here. So resharpening will uh, keep that blade nice and thin behind the edge and not get any weird kind of curly cue on the back. And again, I just love this pattern. I like, um, like if you're cutting cardboard or even a zip tie or something and you use this knife backwards in a pull cut like this, your thumb can run right up to the bottom of the edge. It also feels great in this grip. Just a beautiful design, beautiful execution. Again, and spoiler, they just don't miss. Flush. I believe they're all coming in at $300 this time, but there's so many options. I'm gonna put the inf information below where you can see the registered dealers. And uh, again, I don't want to swamp his inbox too much, but Ben will, if you absolutely have to, <laughs> and I don't know if, I'm just saying absolutely, but Ben will help you find the particular model. Say you see this video in two weeks and you want this exact model, 
he will get in touch with all of his dealers, surf around, see who he sent knives to, and see if they have any out of stock, any in stock for you. So they go pretty fast. Uh, there's also, I believe there's the wooden version, the smooth titanium version, and I can't remember, there's another carbon fiber option. Carbon fiber option. But that's it. I absolutely love this new label here. I think it's a new artist on this one. If I remember him saying, yep, right there. Instead of Sean Tiffany, we've got this new artist here. And this, he should just sell t-shirts as well. Maybe he does, but I love the font on this. I uh, went to school a little bit for graphic design. That's kind of, I think, why I feel like some of my knife uh, design pickiness and stuff like that comes from some of that training and just really looking at all the details. And uh, it transfers over into everything, including when you look at art. Even the color schemes here, how it's purple, like purpley blue. It's a vibe, man. <laughs> Laid back, got his beer in his hand or his soda, whatever. Got the little crab down here, it's so cool. And then of course you get all your goodies. You get your pog, your slammer cap. And we got the like pastel green microfiber this time, still branded. Um, two stickers and also you get your sheath, which should not be glossed over. Honestly, this is the, I always keep it here cause I keep giving you a patina update. This is what I carry my Jack Wolves in most of the time. You can see how this one has kind of been molded. Because this has been in my pocket for about two weeks, you can see it's molded itself right to there. Anyways, these are very quality sheets. Is that a word? Very quality. <laughs> these are high quality sheets. So that's what they look like when they're out of the tube and not loved and used yet, but also you've got upgraded to two stickers they're kind of uh hard to get out of there without digging a knife down in there and popping them out but look at that art let's do it because i i really like this sticker and he put two of them in there for you that's not that hard you just gotta do it that is so cool but look at that there's two there's a whole nother sticker in there so now i can finally start putting these on my yeti water bottle Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Jack Wolf Knives, for that. It's something weird and OCD about wanting to use the disposable, kind of disposable item, and then not having it for your tube when you go back and take a look at your packaging and whatnot. But he's got us covered. Of course he does. So there you go. That is the laid back Jack all in one shot. I did not make any uh, notes or anything like that. There's going to be no editing on this video, just kind of raw and uncut. My honest impressions are I absolutely love all the Jack Wolf knives. This is amongst my top five. And you guys just who followed me uh, for any amount of time know how much I love this GEC right here. Come on, they complement each other. Man, that sway back pattern is just really something. I like how they have that little bit of curve in there, a little bit of visual interest. And then the way this comes and curves down to like mimic this right here, if that makes sense. They just really look, in my opinion, just as good closed as they do open. And then they're also super utilitarian with that straight edge. Just a perfect size. A little bit heavier than the other Jack Wolf knives. I didn't put it on a scale, but because they didn't mill away the titanium. Whoop. That's all right. They're all users. Because they didn't mill away the titanium here, this does have a little more heft. And I kind of like it. I'm glad that they're not all like this. But I'm kind of glad on this model that it does have a little bit of extra different feel to it these are not cheap knives i understand that you um 
you know, you really have to be absolutely in love with these things, any knife at $300 or so to get it, but you are getting custom quality. And I hate to say it sometimes even better than custom quality, just because a handmade item cannot do that every single time. Um, maybe the milling again, triple fluting here, just they're different beasts, but you are not getting a factory, regular factory run. You were getting a very high end, think like a Chris Reeves of Benz or something like that. So that's my thoughts. Here it is up against the Delica. I have this uh, Delica video that I need to make. And uh, I've got a few other things. I've got some just vlog stuff too that I want to get off my mind and get on video and just say hello to you guys again. So it's just been busy. I had uh, two or three vacations. So I don't announce when I'm going on vacation, but again, that's just stuff I have to prepare for to go on the vacation. Then you go on the vacation and then you come back. And I'm talking like we went to Las Vegas, we went to New York, we went all over the place visiting family. So it's just been really busy. Absolutely love this thing. What do you guys think? Should I anodize it? Should we nuke it? <laughs> All right, guys, we're getting silly, but I think it would look good, honestly. All right, hope you have a good one. See ya.